Now Mullen will send his motion man, Jarrett Smith, in motion. He'll look to throw. He's in a fire downfield, and he has a man open, and it's wide open. He gets past Crosby Adams all the way down to the 15-yard line on the catch by Simeon Neal, and inside the 10 and down to the 9-yard line. UTSA's defense gives up the big play, but then they get three stops. Do not allow the first down to be uh, gotten by McMurray, and it'll be a field goal attempt from the 21-yard line. The snap is back. The ball is down. The kick on its way, and it is good. And McMurray scores first. And the slowest, the snap is low. They throw it out to Armstrong, 40. Makes a man miss, 45. Down the boundary, and tackle from the head. Maybe a horse collar tackle at the 50-yard line. Will Morris makes the tackle. They're going to give him the 49. There was no flag on the play. It's a gain of 10 and a UTSA first down. So this is going to be a 48-yard field goal try for Sean Ayana. Here comes the snap back, a good hold, and the kick is on the way. And it is no good. Just a little bit short and a little bit to the right. They line up in that pistol look again with the uh, running back behind the Quarterback in the shotgun, Jake McMullen. UTSA shows blitz. Reeves coming on the blitz. Here is Marlon Smith coming on the blitz. He knocks down Mullen way back at the 31-yard line. And again, what unbelievable speed for Marlon Smith to track down Jake Mullen and knock him down for a loss of 12 back to the 31. And McMurray's got first and goal at the one-yard line. Mullen goes under center. He quarterback sneaks off right tackle. No signal yet. Linesman come in. And I believe there, now they call it touchdown. He takes a low snap, he's back to pass. Pump fakes, fires downfield, looking for Wanamaker, who makes the catch at the 45, and he falls down at the 42. He got past the secondary that time, made a fantastic catch. Gene Hudson was defending, but how about that speed right there for Wanamaker, who ran past Hudson, 37 yards and a UTSA first down. From the gun, they play fake it, and back to Pasco Sosa, all kinds of time. Downfield wide open, caught for a touchdown. Simpson was all alone around the goal line. He gets the score, 22 yards, and the Roadrunners are on the board. Safety rolled over to Watermaker, and that left the sideline all open. And that's what you were looking for to start the second half. Looked like that first drive in game one. 15-yard line, Mullen loading the back in the shotgun. We'll look downfield. He's got long open and up in the air, almost intercepted. And it is intercepted. Start much. And Starling comes up big with the INT. He took it away from R.J. Long. Play fake and back to pass goes Sosa. And he's going to look and look and look and he's going to fire downfield for Cam Jones at the 30. Down the sideline to the 20. A move inside to the 15 and a spin to the 12. Cam Jones running a drag route. Sosa waiting for that play to develop and Jones got open and then once he gets it in his hands, He's able to make people miss. Big, big play. He jumps under center. He'll take the snap. He'll play fake to the left. He looks towards the end zone. It's open for Freeman. Touchdown. Brandon Freeman in the right corner of the end zone. TSA's given Ward some pretty good protection. They do so. Oh, they got, got, they got it blocked. McMurray picks it up and rumbling in for the end zone. It's a touchdown. Markel Rice is scored, and McMurray takes the lead. Just as I said, they got good uh, protection. The protection broke down. Markel Rice got in there, picked up the football, and McMurray leads 16 to 14 with 7:07 to go in the game. The eye, they'll send Kazen in motion after he jumped back to a tight end uh, to a flanker position. Hand off, Glasgow running right inside the five. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, David Glasgow. UTSA has taken the lead. Here we go fourth down. They're going to call it five. The line of scrimmage just shy of the 37. They got to get to the 42. Marlon Smith jumping up and down wants the crowd to come to its feet. Three wide receivers to the left. It's a four down lineman look once again right here. UTSA showing blitz, they back out of it. Mullen takes the shotgun snap, under pressure. Smith hits him, it gets caught by Brooks at the 40. First down to the 45, midfield 50, downfield 45. He's to the 40 and down to the 35 yard line with a minute to go. Get down at eight from the 32. Two wide receivers right and two to the left. Four down lineman look, Mullen drops to throw. He's gonna heave one towards the end zone for Diamond, caught for a touchdown. Wow, and there's 19 seconds to go, and McMurray takes the lead with 19 seconds on the clock. And the snap comes back to Sosa. They bring six. 
Over the middle to Armstrong. Flea flicker it back to Freeman. He's looking for somebody to pitch the ball to. There's no one there. He's going to throw it back all the way across the field to Simpson at the 40. 45-50. He's to the midfield. Throws it back to Armstrong at the 30. Comes right to the 25-yard line. Flag goes down. The ball comes popping out to the 21-yard line where it's recovered by UTSA. They get all the way down to the 19. But that doesn't work. UTSA in a stunning fashion today. Suffers a setback, 24-21. McMurray with an outstanding performance comes in and wins the game. Final score today in the Alamo Dome, 24-21. Talk about the ebbs and flows of this game and a heartbreaking loss for the Roadrunners.